is Irina Slutsky reporting for Geek Entertainment Television on location in Portland, Oregon. And we are in the offices of Vidoop, and we are going to talk about the wild and crazy world of CAPTCHAs. What's a CAPTCHA, you say? It's that little thing you fill out when the computer wants to know if you're a robot or a human. CAPTCHA is something that, that everybody who uses the web touches at one point or another, but most people don't know what it is or why they're doing it. Most of the examples that people see, it's all text-based CAPTCHA. You see the squiggly letters, um, you know, distorted, sometimes really difficult to read. The, the purpose is to block spam from getting through. And you've actually printed out some tweets that you sort of look at on a regular basis, and we have one here from Michael Arrington, who a lot of people you know is a very well-known technology blogger. Well, he actually commented on a blog on TechCrunch and basically says that they're literally, literally captures that it takes him three or four times to solve and that they're human proof. It's one of the main reasons why we set out to do something that's easier for people and yet solve the same problems. So we've, we've kind of analyzed the CAPTCHA market and it, we do it in a way that uses images. We walk you through, we ask you to name three or four categories of images here. And you know, like this one says, find the letters for the wild animals castles and the clocks. Okay. So you look at these images, you find those three images, and you see the letter inside there, and you just type the oh, letter okay. in. So I wouldn't actually be typing um, owl and... Correct. It w I would just be typing the letter that corresponds to that image. Exactly. Okay. Yep. So um, how is that going for you? <laughs> it's going well so far. So some of the, I mean, we've looked at some of the data out there for for the traditional text-based CAPTCHAs, and, and the failure rates on average are around 20% for those. We're to the point now where it's really difficult for people to solve these CAPTCHAs, you know, and, and there's not really anywhere else they can go with using those squiggly letters. And you can read anywhere of, you know, bots buying up bundles of tickets and creating all kinds of problems, and then people have to pay three times as much to go to a concert. For example, here is, um, here is a very interesting CAPTCHA. Please enter all the letters having a cat below. So what does this word say? Uh, this is put eight. <laughs> do I need to say that? Yes, you do. I don't, I don't, I don't think that's These are really amazing. This one says plump ho, um, fat five year, uh, asses, retard, and actually, this one is from Google Accounts. We can say that because it's right here. Right. Thanks, Google, for calling me a retard. You know, if we get to such a degree where the bots and the humans are pretty much indistinguishable, how will you solve, like, what kind of CAPTCHA will you use then? Wow. Um, what, how did they test it on Blade Runner? <laughs> They had sex. <laughs> oh, I don't think that's how CAPTCHA is going to work. Really? But people I might, might be, be. I might be down for that. Would people be more frustrated or less frustrated with CAPTCHA? I don't know. I mean, it depends, I guess, on what the replicant looks like. <laughs> well, you got to do things that only the humans can detect. That is easy for humans, but the the bots can't. Is this testing whether I'm a replicant or a lesbian, Mr. Deckard? Just answer the questions, please. But you should maybe work that into your future business plan, you know. That's a great idea. Making love as a CAPTCHA. <laughs> I don't know about that part of it. Yeah. I kind of like it.